Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Auto Guy DIY, getting into another episode of electronic throttle control issues on my 2003 Ram 1500. So, man, I've been dealing with this for about a month. I've been doing homework, research, trying to figure out what's going on, and I've got it ruled down to either if the throttle body has malfunctioned or the situation or the issue is stored in the PCM and I need either a flash or a new PCM which that wouldn't be good so I'm pulling up everything on my thing scan you can hear the truck running like we all know it idles but that's it no pedal so I'm gonna go through a couple of things man me and my dad were out here messing around yesterday with the truck now what I'm gonna do I do not advise anybody to do to their truck seeing as my trucks already in limp mode and I cannot get these four codes erased off my truck I went ahead and gave it a try and I'll explain to you what I found out and why I think it's kind of odd so first I want to pull up all this uh, data on my thing scan we'll run through that real quick then I'm going to hop under the hood and I'm going to show you a couple things and what I think is odd about it. And I'll also explain to you a little better on why I believe that if you do it to your truck, you risk the chance of messing something up electrical internally in the system, should I say. So let me get this pulled up. We'll go through that. Then we'll jump under the hood. Then we'll go through the little process I went through yesterday with my dad. And then I'll tell you my plans on trying to get this problem fixed. So just hang tight, stick with me, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we got it pulled up here. So, this will go along with the test that I'm going to show y'all that I tried, that I do not advise you to do. But I'll do it because my truck's already in limp mode. That's what the little a lightning bolt light is indicating. So, back to this. So I have app volts. And I have TPS bolts. Okay, the way I see it, my ab bolts is my accelerator pedal positioning sensor, which is blue and a gold color. And then I have a TPS. I got two TPSs, which is like a, a brick color, brick red, and a green color. So we see it coming along here nice and straight. Now I'm going to have to get in a little closer here. Now I want you to watch the ab bolts and the ab two bolts. I'm going to push the gas pedal. See them go up? Look, you can even see on the graph, they jump up. I let off. They go back down. See? They go back to normal. So that tells me right there that the accelerator pedal positioning sensor, the one that I picked up from the salvage yard, which that video should already be out. Um is working it's communicating with the truck which also lets me know that the PCM is communicating with the sensor so my TPS minimum volts and regular volts there <clears throat> that is on the throttle body so what that's telling me is that the throttle body is not communicating with the app sensor and the PCM and or it's not agreeing with what's going on so it's not talking to it at all now we're gonna jump under the hood I know um, I have a couple subscribers they've been waiting to see some data like this and I'm finally getting out here man I had to do the motor mount so I had to do the motor mount and power steering pump on my parents car which is a question I have for you guys I'd like for you to drop in the comment I'm thinking about starting another channel along with this one for my parents Acura Acura TL <laughs> which would also be like a Honda because it's the same type of car but that's beside the point so I showed you the data now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do under the hood and then we'll talk a little more about it so let me get under the hood okay so before we jump under the hood and I'll show you what I did yesterday to lead me to this we're gonna we're in the white truck now we're in the 09 Ram 1500 I have the same um I have the same diagram pulled up that i had in the blue truck sorry i had to think about that for a second <laughs> so what i want you to notice is it's just going along straight just like in the blue truck so i'm going to push the gas 
and I want you to watch the graph. You see how everything's going up? You see how the TPS numbers, I hope it's focused in good enough you can see it. But when I hit it, the numbers change. And then they go back down. I hope you can see that one too, see? That changes. Now, if you if you don't remember or you need to rewind the video some, I was getting no activity out of my TPS sensors, out of neither one of them. So that's another thing that's leading me to believe that the throttle body is not responding, that the relearn freaked it out. It removed the values that the manufacturer put in there. So I was gonna jump under the hood and show y'all what I did yesterday, but the more I think about it, it's really bad advice. So I'm just gonna leave it at showing you the data on both trucks and how I'm starting to see the pattern in the accelerator pedal positioning sensor working on both trucks, but I'm getting no activity out of my throttle positioning sensor. So to go over that real quick, the throttle positioning sensor is located on the throttle body the accelerator pedal positioning sensor is on the um, is underneath the battery tray like I've showed you how to remove so as we all know just changing the accelerator pedal positioning sensor won't work if you don't have a computer like I have this thing scan find a buddy or somebody that'll hook you up that can run some live data pull up your app sensors if your bolts are changing right if the volts are changing when you hit the gas pedal then that means it's working and your pcm's communicating right so for my instance the throttle body or the tps is not communicating whatsoever now i will tell you what i did yesterday that i don't advise but i won't show you so i unplugged the accelerator pedal positioning sensor started the truck it idled high i killed the truck plugged it back in it went back to normal um operation so that let me know that the truck was communicating with that sensor or it wouldn't change the state of the truck so my next guess was let me get out there and unplug the throttle body which my way of thinking unplugging the throttle body would let you would kill the truck it wouldn't start so i went and it fired up and it ran it idled rough but it ran so that led me to believe that there's something in there that's freaked out that's holding that throttle body open because if you unplug it and you take all the power away from it, it should be dead. It should just remain closed, but it didn't. So I'm not advising anybody to do that with either one of their trucks, especially these newer trucks with these high, with these um very smart computers, I guess you could say. So you've seen the data on the trucks. Now you know why I'm getting to where I believe it's the throttle body that's got the ETC light on. It's got it in limb mode with a dead pedal. So, um, my plans are to go to the junkyard, grab one, plug it in, see if it'll get rid of the light. See if I get some kind of throttle response out of it. If I do, I can probably pick one up for 25 bucks. Hey, if it works, I'm gonna go with it. If it doesn't, but it does get the light off the truck and it will give me some kind of pedal, then it's worth going down and buying a new one and changing it out. So with all that, that's the data. That's what I'm getting into. As soon as I can come up with some funds, you know, it is the new year. Happy New Year's, guys. So, boom. With all that, keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe. Always drop your boy a comment. And this is what I've come up with so far.